This is the EDF Neptune. This is a 64 millimeter EDF unit. Um, big flying wing. I absolutely love it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we're doing a feature spec overview and step-by-step -step assembly of the newest addition to the Skynetic lineup. Uh, one of the newest additions. This is the EDF Neptune. This is a 64 millimeter EDF unit. Um, big flying wing. I absolutely love it. She's EPO foam. Uh, I've flown it in the past. I'm glad to see it back in the lineup with some Admiral upgrades inside that just make an already awesome model now fly probably even better. Uh, I'm excited to get it out and fly. Now, as far as this video goes, man, this assembly couldn't be more straightforward and simple. Uh, it's going to go together really fast. So before we get to that, though, let's show you all the parts laid out uh, on the table before you. And you can see there's not much to it. You get your two wing pieces. You get one spar through it. You get your battery hatch. Then you get your vertical stabilizers and some side force generators um, that you're gonna glue in. But this model is completely glued together and then go and fly. And she only requires a three channel receiver because she is an Elevon setup. So you're just plugging in your throttle and your one Elevon and your other Elevon and making sure they mix together. So uh, again, it couldn't be easier. There it is on the table. Now let's go over a spec overview. So now her wingspan is 48 and a half inches or 1230 millimeters and she's about 24.8 inches long or 630 millimeters. She's got a 4500 kV brushless outrunner motor installed with a 5 blade EDF fan and a 64 millimeter EDF shroud. Again she only has two servos for the Elevons, they're both 9 gram servos. And as I said, she's EPO foam, and then she's gonna require anywhere from an 1800 to a 2500 3S LiPo. She runs on 3S, and you're gonna need at least three channels in your receiver to get this model going. So that'll do it for the spec overview. Let's do a step-by-step -step assembly. So now as you can see, the first step is just gonna be taking the main fuselage body and just putting the carbon spar through because we're gonna get started right away gluing these wings together. So moving along, you're gonna use some foam tack. That's what I use. You can use some foam safe CA. It's completely up to you. As far as the glue, I always like foam tack. It goes on pretty easy. But what I like to do first, as I do with all foam to foam gluing together, you wanna to rough up the surfaces. So you gotta score it a bit. So I take a razor blade, you could use sandpaper, however you wanna do it. Just make a bunch of cuts. It creates more surface area for the glue to adhere to make sure you get a nice adhesion uh, when it's all said and done. So I do that to both sides and just look around, make sure all the areas that are gonna glue together are the ones you wanna score and you don't score up an area that's not gonna be glued together to mess up your model. Once that's done, apply the glue liberally to one side. So then all you do is slide it over the spar for the one hole, press it together. Then if you're using foam tack like I am, once you press it together, it's a good idea to pull it apart and wait anywhere from 30 to 90 seconds. Let air get into the mixture, creates a better uh, adhesion when it's all said and done. So wait for it to get a little more tacky, then press it together and hold it there for a bit to make sure it stays. And then you're gonna repeat that process for the second wing. So now once that's together, you can see underneath that both servo leads are coming out and there's a little groove in the fuselage portion where you can push the servo wire through and two little holes so that those um, leads can get into your canopy to uh, get into the receiver when you're at that portion. So just do that now. You could even use a little tape, hinge tape, if you want to make sure those don't come out. And now once that's done, you're just gluing on your verticals. So you can see here, we'll do the two main verticals here and they have a sticker on one side. So you want the side where the sticker's facing out uh, will determine what side you glue them in. And you can see on both sides of the wing, bottom and top, that there's a little area where they're gonna glue. And again, since this is a foam to foam uh, gluing, again, score it up. I like to use a razor blade, both sides, get enough glue in there, and then press them together. They fit like a glove. Do that for both sides. And then for the other winglets or side force generators, you can see they come as one piece, one molded foam piece. You just got to cut them out. And then you can see the, the sticker is already pre-applied, so you're just going to have to cut away the sticker for the uh, little slot that's already molded in where they're going to glue. And again, you're going to score up both sides because it's foam to foam. Get the glue on and press them in. 
So now at this portion, you are done with the build. And now you, all you have to do is get your receiver installed. So I'm going with the Futaba 6 channel here. And you can see I just plugged in the throttle and the two Elevon leads. And then I went into my transmitter. All transmitters are different, but my transmitter has an Elevon setting that I just set up. And then taking a look at the canopy space, you could definitely fit a 2500 in there. It could be a little tight uh, depending on the size of your receiver, but uh, your, your ESC should be able to get along a sidewall, your receiver on the other sidewall with plenty of room for the battery right across the middle. So there you have it guys, that, it, couldn't, it couldn't go together any easier. I was happy when I uh, pulled this out. I forgot it's been a while since I built one and it goes together so smooth. I love that everything's already pre-installed as far as your servos uh, with the control horns and they even pre-installed the, uh, the servo covers, which are nice, the protectors, because when you belly lander, um, whether you do it on grass or pavement, you know, that's just gonna help protect the servo arm. Um, again, your motor's already installed and everything was running in the proper direction when I plugged it in. You got the Admiral 30 amp ESC inside, which is nice to see. Love seeing Admiral mixed in with the Skynetic. You know, now that this is one of ours and we're excited to uh, have it back. So again, I have it all plugged in. Now I didn't do any of the rates or anything, but from what I remember with this, you can fly this with high rate. She's not, she's not very drill pretty. She's more floaty. Uh, she can move too for uh, a 3S LiPo, I can't wait to take her out, but I'm probably just gonna go with the full race as they are, and then I have my uh, elevator because we're on the Elevon setup. So up and down, left and right, and she's looking good. And then if I run up the uh, motor here. Woo! I love it. She's definitely got some punch to her for a 3S powered bird. But I'm excited. Everything fits in there. So I'm just going to manipulate where my uh, aerials go. I usually, I think on my old one, I had one sticking out. Or I may even go through back underneath through the hole where the, uh, where the servo lead was coming in. And put my aerials, one going this way and maybe one going back. And just uh, tape them down underneath the aircraft. Because there's more than enough uh, space to do that. You can maybe even with a razor blade, make another line uh, trough where you can put your uh, aerials through out the bottom so you never have to worry about any sort of signal issues or anything. But either way, guys, if we've flown it at this point, the link to the video is gonna be in the description below. At this point of filming, we have not uh, flown it yet, but there's video out there of the Neptune flying around if you need to see it ASAP. But either way, guys, thank you so much for joining us for this quick feature overview of the Neptune EDF jet. Uh, she's awesome and back uh, building our Skynetic lineup. Um, we're so excited to keep building it, adding all sorts of new aircraft to our Skynetic brand. Now, again, remember, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for our sub spin and win contest. Every Friday, we're spinning the wheel and we're giving away some sort of prize to one lucky subscriber every week. So just make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell, and make sure to leave a comment or two, hit the like button. You know, all that stuff always helps. But guys, thank you so much for joining us. Any questions about the Neptune or anything else, leave them in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time at Motion RC.